<laughs> I you like that, Jimmy? That is nice. All right. Now, see, you're the sick of me as a, when you get the thing, you're sick of me just as a pretty face. But actually, there's more to me. That's, that's the first thing I thought. <laughs> yeah, these are my lot of people. My big pastor. He about your son. He always tells me, he tell off the podium. He said, I want you everybody to understand it. There's more to Chuck just a pretty face. Right. All right, y'all, in this video, we're gonna put the spotlight on a couple of fascinating people that we met uh, in our camper size world, Chuck and Marlene, and their fully customized RV hauler. Oh, look at it lower down. He's got set up for a fifth wheel, and he can do a bumper pull. So. Chuck said he's got the bumper pull option on this truck. Uh, so in case, say, like I need my camper moved and I can't move, it's something wrong with my truck or something. He said that way you can say, Chuck, I, I need my I need my camper moved and I can move it for you. He said as long as it's not too heavy for me, right? You want some help? I do. So, so you're the crew. Chuck, do you need a hand or would we be in the way? No, we do pretty good. Not that you're not welcome to help. Right. But me and Snuggy do this all the time. We got to keep track. Yeah. Takes a little practice. I feel like I can. When you got hands as big as feet, <laughs> where my old man was. Like, you know, being big, you're going to have the same problem because you're going to be a big guy like this. Yeah. And you're going to find the out. The problem if you're as little as me. Yeah. Right. My dad was. Uh, when he was lifting, he was 60 inches. Big wow. Man. All right. But now with my old man, we went out for a ride in my car. I had a Jaguar, an XKE. Dad, when you shut the door, Dad had something like this. <laughs> All right. When I put the roller window down, Dad could sit in his uh, his tricep for his uh, yeah, lats. Lats, yeah. His lat would hang out the side. <laughs> and there the old man sat. You know. I'm still sitting here looking at this, though. And I was going, man, that's going to be scary to be in that car going up there. And if he doesn't listen to me, he pay attention. <laughs> I'm sure he always does. He, last time he had the front tire over, way over here. Yeah. Going it's, down. Yeah. He had somebody talking to him. And he was we won't down. talk. We, we won't talk when they're going up there. That's a long way to go in a Did you drop the, uh, high spot. Bob. They don't use the word plumb bob. 
but they use plumb line. And it's in the Bible. All right? Now, I can't remember where because I'm getting old and I don't remember stuff. Yes. <laughs> okay? But I'm, I'm halfway learning. Okay? I can read and write. That's why I'm not a, a Marine. <laughs> oh no, we can't show your grandpa. <laughs> uh -uh. Yeah, because if your grandpa's a Marine, he couldn't understand because he can't read and write. That's the reason I'm a Marine. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, Jimmy. That is nice. Alright, now see, you just think of me as a, when you get the thing, you think of me just as a pretty face. But actually, there's more to me. Than that's that's the first thing I thought. <laughs> yeah, did you find a lot of people? My big pastor, he about your son. He always tell me, he tell off the podium. He said, I want everybody to understand it. There's more to Chuck just a pretty thing. <laughs> Hoping it turns out okay. Yeah, hope it turns out okay. Now, see, if, if it don't, you, whichever side it starts to fall off, you hold it up. You got that? Get a set of cojones to do that. I don't have that set. Right. You, to, you gotta be tough. <laughs> Jake's the man for the job. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you do. That's awesome. It is pretty awesome. Takes a pretty good team to pull this off. I believe Chuck and Marlene are a good team. They've been together a while. You okay, Carlo? Guys, that's pretty awesome. Huh? That is now awesome. That and now, the, now the work starts. Now what's the work? Now we've got to take all the winch systems off. And uh, You can't ride with it there, huh? No, no, no. It's way too wide. That'll keep you young. Climbing up and down off the truck and... How old are you? Holy moly. 
I never would have guessed that. Yeah, people never guessed my way, AG, though. 43? Huh? 43? Uh, 45. 35. <laughs> Let's go. Check the second time. My grandmother was 29 for the longest time, but once my dad hit 29, she had to be 39. They figured that was, you know, yeah. more believable. Yeah, all right. This is all custom, right? Oh yeah, this is all. This is all built by the old man. All the welding. I built the front. I built the bed of the truck. I was wondering, being a carpenter. <laughs> oh, come on, you a little barman. So you did all the welding and the woodwork and the whole thing. Yeah. Design that trailer hitch. Marlene the cat. Marlene, you make that look easy getting up there. I about killed myself trying to climb up there. You went up there like a cat. So that's a bag with foam in it to keep that hook from banging on, on the window. And you made all the, all the covers. Yeah. I mean, that looks like something you would have to custom order professionally. Yeah. Well, I just came out with a piece of paper and threw out the ends of the measurements. It's no wonder yeah. the two of you get along so well. <laughs> Got the yes, carpenter work, said, metal work, cloth work. Everybody says we're the most talented two people they know. Yeah, I, I couldn't disagree with that. So Chuck designed this whole bed and even built the hitch and this back I end. What I started out with was a 16,000 pound. And then I built it up to, uh, to hold 20, to pull 25,000 the bed. Wow. Now the bed of this truck runs straight across here. Okay. Right? In lazy days, was hired to do this, and then they decided they didn't have the ability to do this, so they had to hire me to do this, and uh, I, I charged them four thousand dollars to build this, to drop the frame, to build all this down, uh, so it all ends up where it matches. When this here trailer sets level, mm -hmm. the bottom of this pin plate is forty-eight inches from the ground. When this is setting here. It's basically 48 inches from the ground. Now I can drop it way down like you've seen, but right. sitting like this is 48 inches. Now when we back under it tomorrow, you, you come over and we'll go back under it. So you cut this all down, dropped it down, built that fifth wheel hitch up. Built the whole frame system underneath out here. To, to open that up, 
just that. And now it's open. Okay. All right. When you back the truck in, it'll hit this, it'll open up, it'll release this. And that locks in. And this locks, and this locks. I have heard of people who thought they were funny. It's when you're in a restaurant or something like that. They'll pull that open. Because this handle stays on your normal truck. Right. See? And they'll open it up. You pull off, and now you've got $100,000 after it's tore off the front end of this when they tore off your truck, bent the truck, and now it's on the ground. Right. So when this locks in, like that, and that's on there, you can put a padlock in that to keep people from doing it. Instead of that, you can put a padlock. This one, I disconnect this, and I put this in the front end of the, the RVs. Okay, and that's spring loaded, right? Yeah. So you couldn't hardly pull that out with your not, fingers. Not really, you not unless you're free. Around. And don't trust your dad to have checked everything. Dad might have thought you would do it. You might have thought your sister would do it. And the three of you thought your mother did. That's right. So just recheck the recheck and then recheck that check. Yeah. And the last thing you want to do when you walk out day, is look up and make sure your antenna. You cannot see out an antenna. Yeah. And if you can see it, it's up. Yeah. And I watch people come up, leave these parts, come right up, catch the first tree and Yeah. Yeah, he's caught me already on, on a lot of stuff, and I appreciate it. I never get offended when he checks again. I ask him to do it, and yeah. we check each other, don't we? Sure. These two, Jake and Autumn, hey, crazy hair, uh, they hooked the whole rig up themselves the other day while I was taking a shower because we had to get out, and then we all went out and we walked around, and yeah. they did a good job. Good. Yeah. much fun maybe maybe we can't get this big truck yet but we'll just get one of those horns oh yeah, yeah. Oh. what do you think you ready to hit the road crazy hair yeah that crazy hair is going on YouTube she didn't for sure. even hear the horn inside the camper you didn't even hear it oh. and just a, just a little little tap on the horn Whoa. <laughs> dreams do come true huh that is awesome. I love it, it says Freight, freight liner on the front, recreational use only on the side. I think it pulls that so easy. See down the road! Now he's just showing off. So you see how he like idled out of there at least. We really enjoyed our time with Chuck and Marlene and want to say a huge thank you for allowing us to record this process and share it with all of you. If you have any questions or comments about Chuck's truck or the process, please leave them in the comments below. We'll try and get answers as soon as we can. 